In this video, I'm gonna give you an exclusive behind the scenes look into our video announcement studio and break down the 23 pieces of gear that we use. Well, hey there, I'm Brady Shearer from ProChurchTools.com, helping you seize the 167 hours beyond your Sunday service. We publish new videos every single week, so make sure you hit the subscribe button below. And if you like this video, give it a like. Also, it would mean the world to me. All right, so I'm gonna give you in this video a behind the scenes look into our video studio. And the primary reason that this studio exists is for video announcements. Now, we've produced thousands of editions of video announcements for churches all over the world at provideoannouncements.com. So let's take a brief look at each of the 23 pieces of gear in our studio. Uh, let's start first with the camera. We shoot with the Blackmagic Ursa Mini 4.6K camera. This camera allows us to shoot in 10-bit ProRes as well as in 4K resolution, which is is very helpful for punching in and out in post-production to give us that multi-camera look with just a single camera setup. The lens on our camera is the Rokinon 35mm T1.5 lens. The tripod we're using is the Manfrotto MT190X with the Manfrotto MVH500 fluid head on top. And this combination is very important because when you add the teleprompter and the Ursa Mini camera together, you get a pretty hefty camera rig. And so we need a heavy duty tripod and fluid head combo to be able to to support that. One other cool piece of gear that we have set up on our tripod is the Manfrotto RC clamp length, zoom, and focus remote. The remote clamps directly onto one of the tripod legs. It plugs directly into the Ursa Mini LANC port, and that allows the person that's presenting on video to trigger the record button by just pressing the button on the remote and not walking around to the entire camera, you know, between each take. I mentioned teleprompters earlier, so let's talk about those. We do use teleprompters at Pro Video Announcements. There used to be a time where I did memorize every single video announcement script from scratch, uh, but as our platform grew and that became untenable, we began using teleprompters. We currently use the Telmax Galaxy Series iPad teleprompter, uh, and this is coupled, obviously, with an iPad, and the app that we use and recommend is the Teleprompt Plus app. Uh, with that being said, we also use the Parrot teleprompter when we're on the road and traveling, and this teleprompter is considerably more compact and affordable, and instead of using an iPad or a tablet, which you may not or may have, uh, you can use your mobile device. Let's talk now about the audio setup we use in our studio. The mic that we're using is the Audio-Technica AT8035 shotgun condenser mic. This mic is connected to the K-Tech KE79 boom pole. The boom pole is connected to a Matthews mini grip head. The mini grip head is connected to an Array boom pole holder, and the Array boom pole holder is connected to a Westcott compact light stand. Okay. Now, the reason that our mic stand setup is so pieced together is that because for the longest time, we did a ton of recording on the road when we traveled and the traveling that was required was primarily air travel. And a lot of the time, you know, we wanted to bring our gear entirely on our carry-ons. And so um, we set it up that way. Now we don't travel as much anymore, but we still use some of that travel gear. And perhaps the best example of that is our mic stand that's still set up in our studio. Each of those pieces can be torn apart, broken down, and then fit inside a carry-on backpack that fits on an airplane. And moving on from the audio, let's talk about another major part of our studio, the lighting. We use Westcott LED flex lights for our key, fill, and hair lights in the studio. The key and fill lights are the bicolor one by two flex, and our hair light is a one by one bicolor. The flex lights are attached to the aforementioned Westcott compact light stands from our travel days, and they're just clamped on using mini orange clamps that we got from Home Depot. Now, we don't just point our lights directly at our talent. Uh, we do diffuse those lights using Matthews silks. Our key light has a 48 by 48 silk in front of it, and our fill light has a 24 by 36. These silks are propped up using impact C-stands, held down using 15-pound impact sandbags. Okay, the final major category of gear in our studio is the backgrounds. Now, let me say that we shoot in a studio with backgrounds out of necessity. I always recommend shooting your video announcements in your church's auditorium or your lobby. Shoot outside during magic hour. Find a single window in your church and use that as the key light and shoot there. You'll save a ton of money on lights and backgrounds and you'll be shooting in a location that's more relevant to your church than some background that you stick on the wall. Now, with that being said, because we shoot video and 
announcements for so many different churches. This really isn't an option for us. So we do use backgrounds and here's what we use. Firstly, we've got a wood plank background that we built using a product called Stickwood. The planks stick directly on the wall with their double-sided adhesive. I ordered a single 40 square foot box and it filled up this much of our wall. And this is the reclaimed weathered wood style of Stickwood. Beyond that, we also have a black paper background from Savage Paper. We use this as a black screen for keying out and it's held up on the wall with the impact wall mounting kit. Uh, the final two pieces of miscellaneous gear in our studio are both very cheap, but wildly important to us. We've got a variety of packing blankets that are hanging around the studio for acoustic purposes. Uh, these are just packing blankets that we got from Home Depot and they're clamped to the ceiling using more of those mini clamps that I mentioned before. And then we also use black gaff tape all over the studio as well. We use it to mark gear positions and host standing positions on the floor, as well as in a myriad of other applications. And that's it, all 23 pieces of gear that we use to build out our video announcement studio. I wanted to show you exactly what we use in our context. The gear in our studio combined probably costs between 15 and $20,000. And truthfully, look, most churches don't have that kind of money to throw at video gear. So in another video, we're gonna show you how to create a video announcement set up on a budget. So stay tuned for that. Of course, if you did like this video, make sure that you hit the like button below, give it a thumbs up and definitely subscribe to the Pro Church Tools channel. We post new videos like this every single week, helping your church seize the 167 hours beyond your Sunday service. In fact, hit the little church bell just below this video and that way you'll never miss a thing. Of course, if you have questions or comments, leave those below as well. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.